Hello everyone and welcome to the first episode of The Sims 4 Ultimate Decade Challenge. Before we start playing the challenge, I just want to say that I would be very happy if you want to like this video and also subscribe to my channel. I would also like to know what you feel about this concept. So if you want me to continue doing videos like this for this challenge, comment a thumbs up. Or if you want me to play like a playthrough, comment a heart. The rules of this challenge is linked in the description and I would recommend you to check out the creator of the challenge who is also linked down below. With that said, let's start the challenge. Around 1300, centuries of prosperity and growth in Europe came to a halt. A series of famines and plagues, including the Great Famine of 1315, to 1317 and the Black Death reduced the population to around half of what it had been before the calamities. Along with the population came social unrest and endemic warfare. We are going to follow the Greyjoy family including Bennett, Christina and their three kids William, Jugo and Viola. Will the legacy of Greyjoy continue all the way to the year 2020 or will it fade away like a water drop in the sea? William and Bennett is discussing future marriages for William, Jugo and Viola. Meanwhile, Christina sweeps the floor and Viola eats a poor meal of gruel. Jugo is training his skills in archery. Maybe he can become a good hunter one day. William heard from the village that a nice looking girl named Arya had become old enough to get married off, so he visited the Amber's family. Luckily, Arya was a perfect match for William and her father agreed to let Arya marry William. They fell in love immediately and married each other the same month. And also fulfilled their marriage in the bed. We all know what they did there. Arya started to make food for the family and take care of all the things she needed to as a woman. It was hard to make dinner for the family, water plants and do laundry, but she was happy. Now Hugo and Viola had to find a partner, otherwise Bennett would have to arrange a marriage. And that was not popular for Hugo and Viola. Hugo started talking to a girl, but because he was very poor, the woman had no interest in talking to him. So Bennett had to help him and Hugo soon engaged with Carly. She didn't like Hugo in the beginning, but after a small chat, she fell in love. And so did Hugo. Before Bennett could help Viola find a husband, he died. He was in the forest hunting after a bear, but the bear got him first. Bennett died at the age of 35. Everyone was sad, and especially Viola, who was closest to her father. Christina, on the other hand, tried to stay positive and started to play in the water, just like she and Bennett did when they were teens. Unfortunately, she took it so hard that she was never the same after her husband's death. The Amber's family heard about the sad news and Arya's father wrote to them that Viola could marry his son Hansel. And one day later, Viola left the family to marry Hansel. To make the family happy again, Arya took the first egg harvest from the chicken coop and made some boiled eggs. Only three people were left on the farm, so Arya and Christina had much to do. To earn more money, Christina bought a llama so they could sell wool, and she loved the llama. She even named it Popcorn. Arya wanted to help earn money, so she started to knit animal clothes, baby clothes and more. And William? He tried to learn how to make weapons. In the end of year 1300, William and Arya danced together under the sky full of stars, praying that Arya soon would be pregnant and that the family will survive all the difficulties they go through. Year 1301. The year started with a leak in the pot. William's handling skill was better than ever, so it wasn't that big of a problem. People in the village also started to visit the farm for supplies like milk, wool and other things the family was selling. Christina stopped thinking of her dead husband and minded her own business, while William and Arya took care of the farm. Arya also started to get morning sickness every day. Maybe it was a sign that a baby was on the way. Milking the cow, cleaning the farm and doing laundry was an everyday activity for the two lovebirds. Arya learned how to do bread so the family finally could stop eating poor gruel. Even if Christina minded her own, she sometimes asked William if they could expand the farm more so they could buy more animals. But William was tired of his mother's dreams and wanted her to stay in the reality like before. To get away from his mother, he went fishing to clear his mind. And Christina, happier than ever, fixed the laundry. With bread in their stomachs, life seemed pretty good. Plants started to grow, and as expected, Arya had a little baby waiting for the right moment to fill their hearts with love. It was also time for church, 
So before it was time, the family cleaned the farm and Arya tried cutting popcorn's wool, but that wasn't popular. While at the church, a proper funeral was held for Bennett. It was a sad moment. Inside the church, prayers and some big news was told to the villagers. Arya was pregnant and she felt it was a son. William talked to Viola's husband Hansel, but because he had been with the animals all morning, he didn't smell very good. Things started to go down again on the farm. The clothesline broke and it started raining, which made the family wet and cold when they were outside. Because Arya couldn't take care of Popcorn, Christina got the job to take care of him and he loved it. Instead, Arya did what she liked the most, making food. This time, she tried making pie and it looked delicious. The year started pretty intense, so William took all the extra time he had to relax and also take a nap even if he sometimes was in the bathtub. More villagers started to show up every time the family had something for sale. And the Williams' weapons were very good, so requests for more came every day. Unfortunately, due to all the late nights and lack of time to take a bath, William started to get a fever and it became worse every day. Viola visited to tell her brother that she also was pregnant and that she felt like it was a son. William was so happy for his sister, but couldn't stop himself from joking a little with her, like old times. More food was now served on the table, and just because it was funny, William had some problems with eating. Now it was so close for Arya's baby to arrive, and she often peed herself, so she had to take many baths. William's fever didn't go away, so he started to read about herbalism. Maybe he could cure himself with the right knowledge and hope. While Arya tried to feed the family, William sat with a book day and night. In the end of 1301, Arya's baby finally wanted to come out and to everyone's surprise, it became a long birth process for her because she had triplets. Arya survived the birth of the three babies and Arthur and Agnes were born. But sadly, the third baby died shortly after its birth and William and Arya had to say goodbye to what could have been their second son. Now with two babies in the family and a fever that had been passed on, the family was once again praying for the family and hoping to survive the sickness. And before we end this video, here's the family tree of the entire family. Thank you for watching and click on the bell to know when a new episode of this challenge comes out. Bye everyone!